Local historians had an opportunity to celebrate Attleboro's musical heritage. The Historical Preservation Society held their monthly meeting at the Attleboro Area Industrial Museum last week, and the focus was on the many well-known artists who have played in the city over the last century. Dubbed as a docu-musical, melodies played by the Stage Door Quartet were highlighted with interesting facts about the original artists. Musician Rick Foster led the presentation and we spoke with him to learn more about the event. I've flown around the world in a plane Settled revolutions in Spain Oh, the North Pole I have charted But I can't get started with you No, no I'm Rick Foster and I'm here with the Stage Door Quartet. Uh, we do a lot of music together, uh, sometimes bigger bands, sometimes smaller bands, uh, but we all, always do uh, music history uh, from the uh, Dixieland era right on up through the present. And so it was a real treat to be here tonight uh, with the Albert Historic Preservation Society, uh, folks who know a lot about local history. So I don't know if we uh, told them anything they didn't know tonight, but I hope they learned something. Uh, uh, I had a great time and it was a great crowd. I, I think this was a, a great evening because we had a chance to talk about uh, not just Albro history but Albro's contribution to history in, in the form of uh, great musicians, uh, Ray Conniff, uh, Bob Roundsville, uh, who are big, big stars. There's no, uh, is no other way to put it uh, nationally and around the world. Uh, uh, Ray even recorded in, in the, the Soviet Union when it was the Soviet Union, when it was one of the first American uh, uh, band leaders to do that. Uh, and uh, even today, uh, you'll find that uh, uh, people have a soft spot uh, in their heart and musically for Ray Conniff because of all the things that, that he achieved and all, all that he gave us. We, we made up a term, uh, for, for want of a better one, a docu-musical, uh, because uh, it was a documentary with music, essentially, and a, a multimedia uh, slideshow. Uh, so what we try to do is to uh, bring the history and the music together and we thought this was probably the best way to do it. And what better place than at the Albury Area Industrial Museum, which I really think a lot of and uh, really look forward to coming back every year. Uh, we started off with That's Entertainment. A lot of people remember that from all those uh, compilation uh, shows that were done about MGM, where they took the highlights of the great musical uh, hits uh, of uh, years past. Uh, and it's, it's a pretty good song about uh, the entertainment industry. And we also did uh, uh, there's no business like show business, uh, and you know that's, uh, that was a great Irving Berlin tune written uh, back in the days when uh, Broadway and uh, vaudeville were uh, going strong. Uh, Broadway still is, but vaudeville isn't. <laughs> uh, we did a, a lot of uh, music that was associated with Bob Brownsville uh, from show tunes like If I Loved You. Uh, we also did a song that he uh, got credit for introducing during World War II, patriotic song called Praise the Lord and Pass the Ammunition, uh, which is a, a, a bit of our heritage as well. Uh, we also did some, uh, some great tunes associated with the Ray Conniff, uh, starting with uh, a song that uh, he played on and recorded with, uh, it was Roland Bunny Berrigan, he's a trumpet player, uh, and it was called, uh, the, tune, the tune was called I Can't Get Started, and it's still regarded as one of the greatest uh, jazz standards of all time. And then we progressed all the way through uh, several of the songs that he did with other artists. Um, we did Chances Are, uh, Johnny Mathis. A lot of people don't know that uh, Ray uh, was the uh, studio arranger and band leader uh, uh, for uh, Columbia Records back in the 50s and basically uh, produced a lot of the uh, singles, uh, hit singles for Johnny Mathis. And uh, uh, it's, it's not an exaggeration to say that he helped make Johnny Mathis uh, the, the hit that he was, although nobody is like Johnny Mathis. I think uh, he would have been a successful no matter what. Uh, so we had the chance to do a lot of uh, great songs, cover a lot of musical history tonight, and uh, uh, we want to thank our friends at the uh, Albert Area Industrial Museum. Uh, they do a great job here, and people haven't seen this place, they need to come, they really do. Our, our website, uh, the best way to get in touch with us is to visit us at uh, www.dixiediehards.com if they like uh, old-time New Orleans jazz and uh, swing and uh, jazz music in general. Uh, and also I invite people to uh, visit our website, uh, special website about Attleboro's musical and showbiz heritage. 
uh, www.showbizcity.blogspot.com. I know that's a mouthful, uh, but that's how you get there.